809, there's been a lot of talk recently about women and the struggle to have it all. But new research shows that more and more men are also wrestling with that as well. So what's a guilt-ridden dad to do? Hal Runkle is a licensed marriage and family therapist and author of Scream Free Parenting. Adam Mansback wrote the book Go the Blank to Sleep. And Chris Thomas is the founder of Daddy and Little Me. Guys, good morning. Nice to see you. Father, 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 correct? Yes, All right. Yes. 43% of dads say they feel guilty they're not spending enough time with their children. And my first question, is that a good or a bad thing? Should we be guilty? I don't think guilt's the right, right response. Conflict. You should be feeling conflict, right? Women have been feeling conflict for a long time. They're kind of saying, hey, well, now you get to feel what we've been feeling for a long time. And How do you think this would compare if the survey were taken 20 years ago? Well, I think the bar is set so low for fathers. You know, if I go out in public with my kid and she happens to be wearing matching socks, I'm father of the year. I get free parenting advice from strangers on the street. I don't think mothers, there's, there's, a, there's a higher level of competence expected from mothers. And we see all these images in the media of fathers as bumbling morons constantly and we have to sort of debate you know we have to we have to overcome that if you're a dad and you're feeling guilty should you tell your kids should you express it to your kids or is that something you keep private i don't i don't think you i don't think you can keep it private i think it shows through your through your actions um i, I think feeling guilty is just another way of um improving yourself making yourself work harder and um, being a better dad. So, When you deal with dads, do you encourage them to express it or do you think it hurts the family dynamic? And how do the kids feel about it? Well, I'll tell you a story. Uh, I, I travel for a living, so I miss stuff. And one time I missed a recital. I asked my daughter and I told her, you know what, I, I'm sorry I missed it. I wish I could have been there. She was like, what? I wish I could. No, you don't. You chose to be at work. Don't you take the, tell us to take responsibility for our own decisions? Yes, so just you chose to be at work. I'm not upset about that, but just own up to your yeah, choices, Dad. Yeah, how do you Dad? explain that? I mean, you know, yeah. sometimes it's not that we choose to be at work. We have to be at work. No. I think it's still a choice. I think, I think the key is that when you are there, you've got to be fully present. I think yes, my daughter certainly tells me when I'm splitting my attention between her and my cell phone and my computer. I might not be there all the time. I might be on the road. But when I am there, I try to really let her know that it's about connecting. And I, and, and I think that we are, society expects dads to keep that same role that we had 20 years ago of just always working, working, working. And then when we take that extra step to be there, to be more active and think, I, I, I think it is more surprising. And so, you know, where we might be just dads and we, we just, every day we're trying to do that extra step. And Hal, I think Adam makes a good point. What I found in my life is that it takes very little time to make a big difference sure. in terms of them thinking you are right there with them. But if you're motivated by guilt, then it's a lot harder to fully be present. Guilt is a good motivation to kind of get things started, but it's not a lasting motivation. We're talking about conflict. You're trying to do a lot of great things with a finite resource, time. So you're going to experience conflict. If you feel guilty because you haven't spent enough time, fine. But if you feel like conflict because you're trying to do a lot of great things with a finite resource, welcome to adulthood. Clearly a subject on the minds of about half of fathers in this country right now. Guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it.